Hello to each and every one of you fantastic and wonderful people. I hope everybody's fine, well, and having a great day. My name's Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Blisslight Evolve. This is Blisslight's latest Starlight Galaxy projector, and it should just connect to our smartphone via Bluetooth or 2.4 gig Wi-Fi. This can also be controlled with Google Home Assistant and Amazon Alexa. It also has app control and should be very easy to set up. Currently priced at $34.99 in the UK at the time of recording. Let's get into the box and see how good it actually is. Okay, we're met with two QR codes, one for promoting the actual website and one for the application. And then we've got a little leaflet with the Blisslight Skylight and the Ambient Collection. A little bit of promotion there from Blisslight, that's fine. We have a white generic plastic USB cable. I think this is fairly long and it's got the Bluetooth controller on it as well. It's a USB type C and the button feels pretty good and responsive. Next, we have a UK power adapter. This is just for your USB lead to plug straight into the wall, but you can also power this projector directly from a USB port. This isn't actually needed, although you can use it if you want to. Now for the globe shape Evolve projector itself. It feels lightweight and it is mostly made from plastic with a white finish. We've got the circular glass lens at the front, which is our ethereal cloud projector. And then you've got a smaller circular glass lens below that, which is your laser projector. We've also got a yellow warning sticker on there as well, which is always good to see with laser products. And then you've got a USB type C port, which is on the left hand side. It's all plastic. It feels pretty well constructed though, and it's lightweight and should be easy to set up in any environment. We'll get to the setup process in just a minute. Then the base itself, this doesn't plug into anything, it's really just a stand. It's a circular shape with a dome in the middle. It's got a nice honeycomb pattern to it. And we've got three little rubber feet on the bottom to prevent any slipping or to prevent it scratching your surfaces. One thing I will say though, the actual globe itself is a little slippery when it's on this base. So what I like to do is put a sticky dot in the center of the groove. This just prevents the globe from slipping around or you could just place it in a position where it's unlikely to get knocked. The USB cable is quite long so the projector should reach to most shelves or corner units quite easily and once you add power it does come on right away and it is very bright and vibrant. It actually looks really good. You can control it from this little Bluetooth receiver here. There are one or two basic options here but to get full access you want to install the application onto your smartphone. Before you install the application you want to check that this blue light is blinking on the receiver. This indicates that the Evolve is in pairing mode. Then you want to go ahead and grab your smart device and either scan the QR code or you can search for the Blisslight Home app or the Smart Life app in the Google and Apple stores. Once you've installed them, you'll be prompted to create an account and then you'll be sent a code to either your email or phone number. You can skip this part and use the application as a guest, but I recommend setting up an account that way it's yours and you can access it at any time. Once you're on the application, click the add device. This will take you to this page where you should automatically see your Evolve show up. Click add and it should successfully connect. Keep in mind if you're doing this via the Wi-Fi though, it needs to be 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi as this only works with 2.4 gig Wi-Fi. Okay then, so let's take a look at the app and what it can do. As you can see here, we've got the cloud palette. You can select your preferred color from here, but there are several other settings as well. And you've also got the brightness and the timer and schedule buttons at the bottom in case you want to use those. The colors are very vibrant and almost have a 3D effect. They also separate very well and the stars are also very vibrant. This camera isn't actually picking up the greens very well. But it is pretty good overall. The only colours missing from the palette that I could think of are the yellows. It's a little tricky to find the yellows, but your blues, purples, reds and everything in between are outstanding. If we go onto the laser control, we can turn the laser off or we can turn the brightness down so they show up a little better through the clouds. You can also adjust the speed of the rotation or you can stop them altogether. 
It's pretty cool and it looks awesome at night time. Then finally, if we go on to the theme tab, you've got a few basic themes. You've got the cosmos here, which looks pretty cool. Then we've got the sky effect, which actually does a good job of replicating the clouds and looking like a real sky. Next, we have space, which gives us a good nebula effect. Looks like you're looking into out of space. Then you've got ocean, which gives an underwater effect. Again, it's pretty good. The 3D aspect of this is actually quite impressive. It, it really looks like it's 3D effect. But most impressively, you've got this custom tab here. I support Aston Villa. So when Aston Villa are playing, I like to use my team's colours, which are claret and blue. You can go onto this tab here and select the claret and blue, but you can also play with the tones and the brightnesses and tweak things to suit your team or colours. It doesn't matter whether it's red, white, blue, doesn't matter. You can tweak all of it. It's pretty impressive and it's really user friendly. You can go ahead and save this and then each time you open the application, it'll just be there ready for you to use just like the other tabs. On to my final thoughts then, I think it's very impressive. It performs better than any of my other projectors do at around the same price point, give or take 10 to 20 pound. It's fairly inexpensive. It's well made, although it's mostly made from plastic, it is constructed to a decent standard. It's user friendly and easy to set up and use from opening the box to setting up the application. All of the options are basic but they're fun to use and they all look pretty good in their own right. The only negatives I could really find with this, if you can call them negatives, is the dome itself is a little slippery on the actual stand. I solved that by putting a sticky dot in the middle of the dome. This prevents the globe from sliding around. Another negative, if you can call it that, are the yellows. They can be a little difficult to find on the color palettes. The yellows are maybe the only color that's not quite accurate or there. And then finally, if you can call this a complaint again, after six hours, the projector switches itself off. So if you're planning a long live stream or a long gaming session, you might need to OK Google to get your lamp to turn back on. But other than that, it gets a big pass from me. I'm going to give it five stars out of five. I think it's awesome. For $34.99, you can't complain. It is 100% the best light output that I've seen, especially at this price point. So the Bliss Light Evolve, five stars out of five. Highly recommended from me. If you found any part of this video helpful or if you enjoyed any part of it, please leave me a thumbs up. Help me reach my subscriber goal of 75 subscribers. That would be amazing. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig. This is Really Random Reviews. And I'll see you in my next video.